Hello, today we're going to show you how to update the firmware on our SST PB3 CLX RLL module. Now this module has two CPUs on it, so there's two separate firmwares, uh, PFBCLX.SS3 and PFBCLX.SS4. One of the CPUs controls the Profibus communication and the other one controls the backplane communication to the Control Logic CPU. Now, to, do, to upgrade the firmware on these modules, we can't use our configuration tool. Uh, we need to use a terminal program. If you're using Windows XP, you can use HyperTerminal for that. Uh, I'm using Windows 7, uh, which doesn't have Hy HyperTerminal installed by default. So what I've been done is install uh, TerraTerm, which is a, a free program that you can get from SourceForge. So the, if we open up the TerraTerm software, now we need serial here, and we'll select our USB to serial um, converter, which is on uh, COM port 8. We'll say OK. And then we'll go to Setup and select Serial Port. And we want our baud rate to be 115,200, uh, data 8, parity none, stop 1, and flow control none. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, now, to be able to connect to the module and upload the firmware, we have to do that during the boot sequence. Uh, so we have a two second window. Um, during the boot sequence, when we can connect to it, we need to type a uh, exclamation point in the uh, terminal program uh, to tell the module that we want to get into the uh, boot uh, software. So uh, depending on how close you are to your module, you may need an assistant to, uh, to cycle the power, uh, which is what I'm going to do here. So go ahead and cycle the power on our rack. And when it turns the power back on, I'll type in an exclamation point and we get connected to the module. Uh, so what I need to do here now is tell the module I'm sending it a file. So we do that by doing an RY. Uh, and we are using the Y modem protocol when we send the file. So we'll say RY and it'll start printing C's onto the uh, screen, meaning that it's ready to receive. So we go up to File Transfer. We'll select a Y modem and we'll do a Send. And then we need to go to our install folder, so program files x86, Brad communications, SST Profibus firmware, and we want to pick the PFB CLX SS3 file. Yeah, that'll take about 30 seconds or so to transfer. Once it's transferred, uh, we use the ver command to verify that we have the latest file. So we'll do ver pfbclx.ss3 and we see that it's 7.29 which is our latest version and then we can type run pfbclx.ss3 and the module will continue to boot normally. Now to load the second uh, firmware again we need to cycle power on the module get connected during the boot sequence uh, and we'll use a different command this time so go ahead and cycle power Uh, this time we're going to use the burn command. Uh, so as soon as we type burn, uh, then we need to send the file. So we go back to file, transfer, Y modem, send. And this time we want that SS4 file. Uh, so we say OK. This is slightly larger, so it takes about 45 seconds or so to transfer. Once that's completed its transfer, it'll do some uh, testing on the module, reading the module, and then it'll uh, print out success if it successfully burned that in. Now the firmware version that you see when you boot up the module uh, is the SS4 version. Uh, in this case, it's 8.8.2, uh, so that's what you would see on the LCD display uh, as the module boots up. Uh, so the transfer is completed, and let's see if it's successful. It is. Uh, now we need to restart the module, and you're ready to go with the new firmware. Uh, thank you.